makes it out of pools. Oh, Sethlon is here. Yeah, Sethlon. Alex Sethlon McGuire. I, but I'm kind of surprised that Sethlon doesn't have like a longer full like royal name. Like you know, Doctor Drew is oh, actually yeah. Doctor Drew the Dragon. Yeah. Wobbles is Wobbles the, the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. It would be Sethlon like the low tier king. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sethlon the sad man. Sethlon, any good Roy main. Um, so, but speaking of uh, melee, yeah, that's that's a segue. Uh, we're gonna have uh, bananas versus Neviki. Yeah. Neviki, the brother of Albert, ranked two on our uh, PR yeah, for DFW. So, so uh, I don't think Neviki plays Peach like as one of his actual mains. I, th I think this is a character counter yeah, pick. Yeah, I, I I think he just knew that he would have issues against bananas, and I guess he just went into try out the. Yeah. The Peach matchup. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him play Peach before, but I haven't really seen him play very much before. Yeah. So that's he played, it's um, a low sample pool. We, we Ooh, played, that's a wobble. Oh, yeah. So we played uh, Friendlies for a while, and he played Oh, he Fox a wobble. Sheik and Falco, so I, n I never saw him pull out the uh, yeah. Peach. But you know what? Peach is a good character in this matchup. But oh, we've also good. seen Bananas take games off of like LK, or sets off of LK mouth. So yeah. and I don't know about Pit. Um, I don't know if he's ever taken one off Pit, honestly. Uh, but yeah, no, Bananas is very good at this game. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about just a hard character counter pick. Because Bananas also has a, like a repertoire of characters. Like, I was playing his Fox earlier. His Fox is really good. Yeah, uh, Bananas just understands the game uh, well enough and happens to also play uh, Ice Climb as well. Yeah. Oh, we got the, is the homie still on the stage? I can't tell. I, I think he, he was thrown off stage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So this should be a pretty, ooh. Nice. I, as I was saying, that should be a pretty easy edge guard. Bananas does a pretty pretty smart uh, air dodge down. Yeah. Uh, this is something very common to see for uh, Ice Climbers where they just keep like side being back to the stage as Sopo and they just keep getting like knocked off. And then, really, the, like, at that point, it's like the Ice Climber kind of knows they're not going to make it back. Right. But, again, it's the, it's tied into the thing I said earlier where it's like you don't necessarily want to do something expecting for it to work. You want to do it to make it hard on the other person. Right. Uh, so, you know, keep coming back. Try to mix it up. I mean, try to force them to force them to make a mistake. Yeah, that's uh, that's why as Peach, when you're edge guarding ice climbers, sometimes it's a good idea to just wait until they commit to a recovery. Yeah. So if they side B, they really don't have like that much control over themselves. Uh -huh. So you can just wait until they get closer to the stage and then punish them. Yeah. Uh, and, and going out to try to punish them as they started up is not necessary. Yeah. And yeah, like ice climber side B also, it has like really wonky hitboxes. I I was playing bananas earlier friendlies and at one point I like ran through it because like the hitboxes were on either side it was really weird mm -hmm. I'm not sure how it happened but it was just like really confusing it's like wow ice climber side B that hitbox is not that great right and it actually can be beaten out by a lot of moves like you saw it being beaten out by Peach's Nair um, earlier her fair can beat it out her bear like most of Peach's aerials except maybe up air and down air can beat it out from the side yeah um, ice climbers definitely don't have the best recovery. If um, you, if yeah. it actually covers a lot of distance, but it's just so easy to punish. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, which is why fox mains that complain about recovery have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. Whenever like somebody who plays space user like or Falco is like, oh my recovery sucks, I'm just like, no, no it doesn't. Yeah. It's it's um the. I mean, it is definitely, like, the limitation of how far it can go is, is one thing, but it's also important that you be able to avoid uh, edge guards. Because, obviously, like, at, at any, like, even moderately high level, uh, your big issue coming back to stage isn't going to be whether you can get back. It's whether they're going to let you back. Yeah. And with Ice Climbers, just the side B has such limited, like, drift potential, there's not much you can do. Yeah. I mean, there's still stuff that, that you can do, but, but like you said, like, you, you don't... Like, you get some aerial drift, but not enough to really, like... Like, it's like when Peach is coming down. She has so much aerial drift that she can she can use to trick up the opponent. Yeah, and she has so many different ways to alter her trajectory. Like yeah. She can toad, toad stall, which most people don't even do. Uh, but that, that really uh, changes how you drift through the air. She can umbrella. She can float. I would have really liked to see, after that ledge dash, <laughs> a reverse F smash. Like, him, like, do a quick pivot F smash or an up air. Um, I think that would have actually hit. Uh, either of those and killed Peach. 
Um, at, any, at any rate, it's still it's still looking like Bananas is going to take this. Yeah. Um, Bananas knows his way around this matchup, so it's yeah. like you can't just pick Peach and expect a free win. Like we saw, uh, we saw Bananas there see uh, Nefake, um float like right above ground height. So Bananas just side B's onto platform, and there's like no way for Peach to really cover that because uh, she's just so slow uh, going up. Yeah. So he might have been able to double jump uh, Nair or something like that, but yeah, uh, it's hard to it's hard to follow. It's it's hard to move around. With Peach. Yeah. Um, let's see if Neviki decides to stay Peach. If he does, I sort of expect him to go to FD. Yeah, there it is. Um, so the reason he picks this is because Ice Climber's right there. Right there, which you saw. That height right there and approaching them at about a 45 degree angle. Um, Ice Climbers can't really do much for that except not like try to not get hit. They can't challenge it yeah. in any way. You, you really just don't want to be in that situation yeah. as an Ice Climber, basically. Yeah. So. Not having to deal with any platforms, being able to have that float height, being able to have like what is essentially a free approach option for a Peach that Ice Climbers can't really do a whole lot about without reading what you're going to try to do um, and when you're going to try to do it, uh, like that's that's really beneficial to Peach. So Peach on FD versus Icy is like it's Peach favored even more so than Peach Icy's is Peach Peach favored. Yeah, favored. Bleh. Down through. Okay. Yeah. Um. Forward throw? Yeah. That's uh, that's not true shield pressure. You can't jab, then jab again, then grab. Yeah. Uh, but he, he, so he was kind of in Banana's head because Banana's knows uh, how many options that Peach has on shield. Yeah. Banana's just stayed in shield afraid of what might happen and then just got grabbed. Yeah. Uh, so right now, what we're probably going to see from Bananas is him fishing for a wave dash and down smash, because um, that's that's probably about his best option to take take a stock from Peach really quickly. Yeah, there's um, there's no need to set up for like a wobble or anything yeah. at this point. Looks like Nana's going to die. Nana's, yeah, uh, Nana's gone. Nana's gone though. Um, Nana, a very very easy to kill once she's separated from Popo. Uh, she's a level variably leveled CPU based on the amount of damage Popo has. Um, but at, at every level, she's really just not that great. Yeah, but it's still a CPU that the right. main like the main thing the CPU is trying to do is get back to Popo. Yeah, so it's not very smart. Uh, and she she can't use like her up B or her side B by herself. So the only thing she can do, and she also doesn't air dodge. So the only thing she can do is double jump and then try to just grab onto ledge. Yeah. So if if Pope was not around to tell her what to do, she just is terrible at recovery. So right now, uh, Neviki knows that uh, Bananas is going to be fishing for a grab. So he's he buffered spot dodge. He uh, did other stuff to uh, try to avoid a grab. Right. But Bananas, knowing this, actually went for down smashes and went for punishes on a spot dodge instead of trying to immediately grab which would have beaten out a lot of uh, other options besides, like, buffer spot dodge. Right. Um, so that was that was some really interesting counterplay right there. That was at work. Yeah. So this this may seem uh, like a Bananas has a mountain to climb, uh, but really, if he can take the stock with Sopo, even if he can't, the fact that Bananas has wobbling in his arsenal yeah. means that at any point in time, provided that he has Nana with them, he can just take a stock yeah. um, at any percent. <laughs> yeah, one wobble would, if he can take the stock with the Sopo, one wobble would literally bring them back to even. Uh -huh. So this is not at all uh, un impossible. Yeah. Uh, but it is definitely a big lead. And, yeah. and um, considering the fact that Bananas uh, is in this situation, it's not good. Yeah. It doesn't look good. And they're right there, uh, very good on uh, Neviki. Nana never techs. So yeah. what Neviki did after he landed with the fair and uh, Nana was put in, like put onto the ground, he immediately fared again to hit Nana. Yeah. Because 100% of the time, Nana will not tech anything, ever. Right. So he just threw out another fair and was able to kill Nana as a result. Uh, which is what you should do. If you play any character and you force uh, Ice Climbers into a knockdown position, you immediately cover tech in place, always, 100% of the time. Because even if you, even if the popo techs away or or uh, immediate, immediate techs or, or does something that would beat it or quote unquote where you would not get hit by it, you will still hit Nana and you will still put on damage and be able to chase Nana as a result and potentially kill Nana, which then eliminates wobbling from the arsenal oh. of 
Shahani's here. Of uh, the Ice Climber player. Yes, those were the words I was looking for. Yeah, Samus is definitely more like Lamus. So, Bananas queuing up another song. Yeah, he's going for a song counterpick uh, in addition to a uh, level counterpick. Yeah, going he, to battlefield. Might be, uh, he might be playing a song that has, uh, I don't know, it's, is it like 100 beats per minute or something? Just uh, to help with the wobbles. I, I don't know. That's I hear I hear that Ice Climbers sometimes do that, where that they be, queue up songs, and yeah. they have a, a wobble playlist where it's like only songs, all, that, only yeah. songs that have that BPM. Mm -hmm. So whenever they get the grab, the wobbling is very free. Girl, are you an ice climber? Because every time I see you, my heart is at 100 BPM. <laughs> I don't know if it's 100. I have no idea. Ooh. That was good. Uh, Nana pretty much always burns her double jump immediately. So yeah. what uh, Neviki did was just kind of waited in the spot that that uh, Nana would double jump and then just put out an air and killed her. Yeah. And took a double jump. Uh, with with Peach, you can if you can split up ice climbers. <coughs> if uh, if if Nana ends up being in Hit stun, you should be able to just keep forward airing her Ooh, until she does nice. crap. Yeah. Uh, there's just, she's just not very, she doesn't vary her recovery, so it's very easy to cover all of that. Yeah. And that was actually a really clever uh, edge guard by Neviki to uh, grab ledge, so he knew Bananas had to get back on stage, and he didn't have, he wasn't high enough to get onto the platform. So Neviki just grabs ledge and then immediately double jumps her super slow double jump into fair. Uh -huh. And that, uh, so that concluded the edge guard from that side, and then he had to follow up on the other side. But Ice Climber is very slow in yeah. getting back. So. Yeah, there's the Wave Dash and Down. Wave Dash and Down Smash is very, very good with Ice Climbers. Um, one of the reasons it's so good is if Nana's synced with you, not only is it a very good burst move, but if Nana's synced with you, then even if the move clinks with something that the other person does, um, again, the immediate double jump by Nana there. Even if it clinks with something the other person does, there's the second down smash that will hit. Right. And if it doesn't clink, then you just landed essentially two down smashes. Um, and it has like it has a, it hits pretty horizontally and pretty hard, and it comes out really fast. Um, it's a, it's a really good move. Uh, so whenever Peach is at really high percent, it's unsurprising to see. Uh, uh, bananas fishing for the wave dashing down smash. Yeah. Yeah, the flow cancel fair down smash. Very, very good option for Peach. Um, basically, if the Ice Climbers has a read on it, though, and they know that the Peach is going to down smash immediately as they land, they can wait just out of range of it and yeah. wave dash and grab and get it set up a wobble. Right. So right. it's it's it can be kind of dangerous to do, um, but it worked out for Neviki in that in that case. Ooh, going going for the uh, that was actually unnecessary um, from Neviki. Uh, Bananas would not have made it back to stage regardless. Uh, uh, I don't know. No, nope, uh, he would not have been able to get high enough. Like that, that's just there's no there's no amount of mashing B that would have gotten him high enough. I'm like 99% sure. Okay. Uh, it, it does, if you mash super hard, it has like a super long range, but the issue is he'd have to get above the ledge, which yeah, is, which is, which is uh, what, the hard part. Yeah, which is what he wouldn't have been able to do. He just, he, I don't think he would have been able to get enough verticality from it. And there's the wobble. And we're all tied up. Yeah. Provided he doesn't, he actually dropped a wobble earlier in this set, which is a little surprising. Um, yeah. I heard uh, Bananas had a banana for breakfast. Um, Yo, if Neviki wins this, uh, Neviki had bananas for lunch. Yeah. And that was a scary f uh, flow cancel Ooh. there. It looked like he might have been in uh, hit stun for just long enough for yeah. bananas Ooh. to shield grab. But. Wobble, wobble. Okay, so bananas is really wanting a wobble right now to close this out. Yeah. Uh, usually, a lot of the time, I don't see him go to save Nana. Um, okay. But that time he did. I think that was actually the first time this entire set that he went out to save Nana. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the things is if you, uh, if your opponent sees that you never go out to recover, then... Whoa! That was a... That was... Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah. Did he not have a double jump? 
I don't know. I guess I he just didn't have his double jump or his uh, float. Yeah. Wow. That was a turnaround. Yeah. Uh, I honestly half expected Bananas to not take that, uh, but good on him for succeeding in yeah, a 7-3 matchup. In a, yeah, Pugachu was – or not Pugachu. Um, who was it? Neviki was in a pretty strong spot. Uh, and yeah. then we just saw that wobble, and then the last stock was. I'm I'm still not sure what happened with that last stock, but yeah. 